Hebrews in the slums and the ghetto. As the Israelites, the Hebrews in the slums and the ghetto. That's the Israelites. Black and Latino. Yeah. Black and Latino. Yeah. Black and Latino. That's the Israelites. Black and Latino. Yeah. Black and Latino. Yeah. Black and Latino. Yeah. That's the Israelites. We eat the same nation, the same people, but we lethal. You cannot enter. You cannot see through. Never right, finished school, but I'm on that honor roll when blacks and Latinos come together. That's you right. are a commodore that's finished. Excuse my Spanish. I am a lion, but bear with me. When my blacks people follow this Latin one commandment in the Bible. We up in the it would slums, eliminate but that's something black black to overcome. Crime. That's right. And it would once eliminate we overcome, you on the seed, you better run. run. All praises to the most high. I pray my brother see truth coming cold sign. From slack to wake up. Judah C to E from we from Judah, they from Jacob, our forefather. We a blessed people. But if you don't keep the law, then we a stressed people. Book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom in heaven is at hand. Repent. That's what we do. If you call yourself or pretend to be a father of Christ, you need to be walking in the same footsteps. That's right. All right? Y'all say y'all Christians. Y'all say y'all love the Lord. But you break his commandments. So that means you hate God. All right? According to the scriptures, that's what it means. Brother, let me ask you a question. Do you, do you proclaim to be a, uh, yeah, come on. You know, listen, let me talk to you real quick, bro. Alright. What's your name, bro? Let me talk to you real quick, son. What's your name, bro? Adam. Adam, alright. My name is Mattathias, right? So, you say you pretend to be a Christian, right? Do you know what that means? Key word. A Christian means follower of Christ, right? So, let me ask you something. Did Christ keep the commandments of God? He did. And that's how Christ was perfect, right? Uh, give me Matthew 5 and 48. So Christ was perfect according to the scriptures. So that means to be perfect, you have to not be able to fail at something, right? So I'll put it like this. If, say you're a perfect test taker, which means you would get 100 on every test, right? That means you're perfect. So let me ask you a question. Do you think that after Christ died, he commanded us to be perfect? Do you think we have to be perfect today? You think no, right? Who taught you that? You don't know? I'm gonna get to that, but listen to this. Matthew chapter five and verse 48. Uh -huh. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Christ said, be ye perfect, all right? So Christ is telling us, he's commanding us to be perfect, right? So what, what do you think you need to do? You need to probably find out what perfection is, right? What find out what perfection is according to the Bible, right? First Kings 8 61. Find out what perfection is, right? Because Christ, you just heard Christ say we have to be perfect. And you said you thought that we didn't, right? Because that's what you've been taught. You say you don't remember where you got taught it from, right? Alright, so listen to the scriptures. Look at that. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 61. Uh-huh. Let your heart therefore be perfect. Let your heart be what? Perfect. Be perfect, read. With the Lord, our God, uh -huh. to walk in his statutes. Okay. To do what? To walk in his statutes. And? And to keep his commandments. That's the key part. And to keep his commandments. All right, so you said Christ kept commandments, right? And Christ is what? Perfect. Then Christ commanded us to be perfect. So, brother, how, are, how do you reach perfection? According to the scripture. Exactly, that's simple. Uh, Matthew 19 and 16. All right? Keep the commandments. So now you know you have to keep God's commandments. Can you name one of them? That's what I still. Exactly, that's a commandment. All praises, brother. Listen to this first. Because Christ said, in order to make it to the kingdom of heaven, you got to keep the commandments. It goes, it correlates with Matthew 5 and 48, because he told you to be perfect. If you're being perfect, you're keeping the commandments. That's how you're going to get eternal life. You see the connection? 
All right, listen to this. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So how do I get to the kingdom of heaven, right? Read. And he said unto him, Why thou callest me thou good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one, that is God. So Christ is saying, don't call me good. Why is Christ saying that? You got a puzzle, right? Because in Christianity, you're taught that Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God is one person, right? According to the Bible, that's incorrect. Christ just said, brother, don't call me good. Why? He said, uh, John 7 and, um, hold that, give me John 7 and 35. I can only do the will of my father. Is that what I want? John 7 and 30. No, no, no. Do I want John 5? John chapter 5? 30. 5 and 30. 5 and 30. 5 and 30. Okay, 5 and 30. Chapter, uh, John chapter 5 verse 30. Like an hour away from home. Yes. 5 verse Yeah, that's it. Listen to this. John chapter 5 and verse 30. Uh-huh. I can of my own self do nothing as I hear. So Christ is saying right here. He cannot do anything of his own self. Then you ask the question, wait, he's Christ. What do you mean he can't do nothing of his own self? Read. I judge, and my judgment is just, uh -huh. because I seek not my own will. Christ does not seek his own will, but let's find out whose will he do seek. But the will of the Father which hath sent me. Did you hear that? So how in the world could Christ and God be the same person? That's not in the Bible. But what I will tell you is that came from the uh, Constantine's Empire, the Council of Nicaea, they came together, all right, about the Aryan controversy, because they didn't agree, but they wanted to, how you say, correlate, uh, bring together their pagan uh, doctrines and their beliefs, because they had mo mo uh, multiple deities, all right? They had a sun god, they had a moon god, they had all these different gods, the uh, Cyrus, uh, Tammuz, all these gods at once, so they, they needed to correlate their doctrine and try to put it with this Bible. But according to the Bible, it ain't gonna work. That's where you get the religion of Christianity. It's a bunch of confusion. All right, so let's go back to the scriptures so you can get an understanding, the correct understanding. I want to confuse you. All right, let's go back to Matthew 19 and 16. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. All right, so we now know Christ is the Son of God. We already knew that, but we know they're not the same person, all right? Because the Most High sent his Son here. But Christ told the young man, he said, if you want eternal life, if you want to make it to the kingdom of God, you have to keep the commandments, all right? So you name one commandment. Let's go to Exodus chapter, uh, start at 20, verse 1. Exodus, start at 20, verse 1. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. Uh-huh. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or in the earth beneath. Read on. Or that is in the water under the earth. Read chapter five, verse 5. Thou shalt now bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God. Let's stop there. So, this sounds like what? The Ten Commandments, right? That's, that's what that is, right? Let's go up to verse 18 to find out if it's only Ten Commandments, all right? Because that's what Christianity teaches. They teach it's only Ten Commandments that you got to live and govern yourself according to, right? All right, read that. Verse 18. Uh-huh. And all the people saw the thundering and the lightning. So everybody witnessed this. This is when God was in the midst of Israel, right? So they witnessed it. These are the spoken commandments by the Most High God Himself. They witnessed these Ten Commandments, right? But this is what they did. Read on. And the noise of the trumpet, uh huh, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, so when the Israelites saw this, what they do? They were removed and stood afar off. So they was like, "Oh my goodness, I'm terrified." All right, read on. And they said unto Moses, speak thou with us, and we will hear. All right, so they're saying, Moses, we will only want to deal with you. We don't want to deal with God. Because why? Because they God put that pressure on him. 
all right? Just like our people today, you know how we're stubborn? We don't want to listen like what's good for us when we're doing wrong. We don't want nobody to correct us, right, as a people. Same thing as our forefathers. We are the Israelites according to the Bible, right? right? These are our forefathers are being stubborn. They don't want it. This is God, the creator of the whole world. And you know, this is his chosen people, the Israelites. He came in the midst of them. They said, no, no, no. I don't want to listen to you, Moses. I can't stand to hear God because that's putting too much pressure on me. I don't know if I can do it. You know what I'm they don't want to be scared into keeping the commandments. They want to make their own decisions. All right, read uh, 19 again. And they said unto Moses, speak with us and we will hear. Uh huh. But let not God speak with us lest we die. All right. Go ahead and give me Acts. Hold that. Coming back to it. Give me Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Leave us where I want. All right, so, so what's going on right now? Let's paint the picture, right? So that near Mount Sinai, right? Let's go to biblical history. So the Israelites that just got led out of where? What do you think? Exactly, bro. They just got led out of Egypt, right? Moses is leading them. So right now to Mount Sinai, and God just came and gave them ten commandments, right? That's not all, but He just gave them ten. They got scared, right? Now they say they'd rather trust. They'd rather deal with a man than deal with God. Let's see what the scripture says. Chapter, uh, Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Uh -huh. Then Peter said, and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than man. They ought to do what? Obey God rather than man. They ought to obey God rather than man. Don't get it twisted. Moses was used by the Most High God. But do you see how our people operate? We'll rather go to a Sunday church, right? Listen to a pastor, lean on to every word he say. Govern our lives according to what a pastor says, rather than opening the book that God gave to us and following what he said. You get that? All right, let's go back to um, Exodus uh, 2019. I want to get finish the point. And they said unto Moses, speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. Lest we die out of fear. And it was close after verse 20. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove you. God has come to do what? Prove you. God has come to prove us. Alright? So, next thing. Matthew 15, 24. So now that was old covenant, right? Now we already realized that you got to keep the commandments to be perfect. So Christianity also teaches the doctrine that saved the laws are done away with. You ever heard of that? We don't got to keep the laws, we're saved by grace. You heard of that, right? Alright, cool. So now, let's go ahead and see what the Bible has to say about that. Uh, Matthew 15, 24, I want to start with that, to, to go ahead and uh, bring it together to show that the Israelites, how God was dealing with them, Christ came to deal with those same people. He just is doing the will of his father, exactly. It's, it started and he sent his son. That's all he came to do, because you got to understand, the Israelites are a rebellious nation of people. All right, the Israelites are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. Traits of my own dad, the right? It's like, dang, you sure look like your daddy, don't you? You know what I'm saying? My mannerisms, the way I stand. I got the same legs as my daddy, same bone structure. Say like, that brother, he act just like his daddy, right? Wonder why, because I came from him. Christ doing the same thing, all right? And he's trying to please his father. Let's hear it. Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. This is what his father said right here. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, uh -huh. and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. So, God just freaked, I don't think he, I, don't, I think that went over your head. Listen to this again, brother. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So, God is in the midst of Israel, the nation of Israel, all 12 tribes, right? Read on. And that I am the Lord your God. The Lord who's? Your God. What does that mean, brother? Of all Israel, right? Did he say um, the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Egyptians? He didn't say that in that scripture, right? What else did he say? And none else. And none else. What does that mean? No other people, right? So let's see what Christ said in Matthew 15, 24. Let's see if Christ is... When Christ came, a lot of people, they say he changed it. No, 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 no. What he brought is grace. Back then, we had the law of sacrifice, right? If you sinned, you had to make an atonement of sins by sacrificing a bull, uh, a ram, 
All right, it depends on what you did. You had to sacrifice to make atonement for sins, right? Let's see what it is under Christ. We're going to get to that. Read that again. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Uh huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Does that sound similar to his father? What confuses you, brother? Lost sheep. All right, I'm going to show you how the lost sheep. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. All right? Because you got to understand. You know what? Let's fit uh, 15 first and then 64. Okay, because you got to understand. The Most High God gave the Israelites law, statutes, and commandments, right? Now, he said if we kept those commandments, we'd be blessed. Now, if we broke them, he sent curses upon us. No, you said lost sheep. Now, I'm going to deal with who the lost sheep are, okay? Let's read some 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if we didn't obey God's commandments, curses would be brought upon us. Let's read one of these curses, all right? There's many curses, but here's one dealing with what you said, right? Lost sheep. This is how we became lost sheep, right here. Verse 64. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord shall do what? Scatter thee among all people. The Most High God will scatter the Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans among all people. All right, read. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. Uh-huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And I think I, I got one for him too. What is that? Second Maccabees chapter six, six and six. Yeah, I want that. That's what I want. Because you dealt with a lot in the New Testament. You can use one. Yeah, you can use um my uh, second Maccabees six and six. Right. So you've heard. In Christian church, I know, no, it doesn't matter, nor Jew, nor Greek, right? I know you heard that all day, because I came from the Christian church myself. But you got to understand, the Israelites had a curse on them. So that means they were scattered into all nations, which means they became Egyptians, which means they became uh, Moabites, which are Chinese, they became Ammonites, which are Japanese, they became Assyrians, they became all different nations. Why? Look at us today. I'm going to make it easy. You know our history, right? How did we get over here? How? How did the transportation, how did we get here? Did we come willingly? Nah, took it by force, right? All right, so do we call ourselves Americans today? Yep. We do, right? Are we Americans? How could we be? How could we be an American if it's not what we from? You understand that? All right, you understand that, that a uh, Chinese person is not an American, right? Even though they live in America, you understand they're not in America, right? You can understand that. But what does Esau do? Esau says, no, it doesn't matter what, who you really are. As long as you have the paperwork and documentation, you can be any citizen you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You can become an American citizen. I can become an Egyptian, uh, an African citizen, well, a Ghana citizen. You know what I'm saying? I can do that because of paperwork. But does that mean that your seed and your heritage and your nationality is that? No, but that's what it, do you understand that confusion yeah. that can happen? All right, give me what you got. All right, this is the book of uh, 2 Matthew, chapter 6, verse 6. Uh-huh. That neither was it lawful for a man to keep the Sabbath day or ancient feast day. All right, so when we were in Greece, right? Our forefathers were in Greece. This is during the Greek captivity. So we were slaves in Greece before we were slaves in America. All right, read that again from the top. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep the Sabbath day or the ancient feast day. Uh-huh, because why? The Sabbath day was given to what nation of people? Israelites, right? And, and the, the feast day was given to the Israelites. Read on. Or to profess himself and all to be a Jew. Or to do what? Or to profess it all himself to be a Jew. You couldn't even say you were a Jew or they would put you to death. That's you see right. That? In America, what do we call? We call African -Ameri African Americans, right? Our identity is held secret for a reason, brother. If we knew who we are, that's the end of Esau's kingdom. That's Give me right. that in uh, Ezra uh, seven. Jacob is the, is that was that us? Uh, 
Second Ezra seven, seven and six. Six. Seven and six. six and Listen to this, brother, because you gotta understand, all that happened to our people, bro, it, it's not a coincidence. It is by design because we broke God's laws. Right. And the most high God is using other nations for our punishment. Alright? It's just punishment because we went off. But there's gonna come a day when Christ is coming back. And we're gonna come reign with, we're gonna be reigning with Christ and set this world in its rightful order. Alright? That's right. It's the book of Second Address, chapter six, and start at verse eight. All right, all right. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, uh -huh. when Jacob and Esau were born, Jacob and Esau, right, the twins, right? Jacob, his lineage is right here. Jacob is Israel, okay? Esau is the so-called Edomites, so-called white men today. All right. We're, those are our twin brothers. But what happened? The promise went with Jacob. And it didn't go with Esau. Alright? Read. When Jacob and Esau were born of him. Uh -huh. Jacob and Han held first the heel of Esau. So this is a recap of Genesis. It's just giving us a brief overview, but here's the point right here. For Esau is the end of the world. So so called white man is the end of the world. You can look on the news and see that. They want to start stuff with everybody. All they do, how do they get this land? History. How did the white man conquer this land? By war, who's living here first? Native Americans, right? So-called tribe of Gad. And where Reuben at? Right, 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 right. My Lord and Reuben right here. Those are Israelites, brother. All right? Now, you might ask, how did that, why did that happen? Because the Most High God said if we break his commandments, he would put us into captivity. Do you think the Native Americans were slaves too? They were slaves just like us. All right, so we know that the white man goes everywhere and Kills and conquers. That's how you get down, right? Uh, read that again, uh, verse nine. For well, Esau is the end of the world. So Esau's gonna be the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So when Christ come back and bring the heaven, uh, New Jerusalem, so we can reign on earth, that's when we reign. And what? Uh, Revelation thirteen and uh, ten. Revelation thirteen and ten. Roll with us, brother. Just like we have the body right now. Alright, thus saith the Lord. This isn't hate, this isn't racism. No, it is racism because God, God has a chosen people. Alright, All right. listen to this. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. Uh-huh. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who that sound? It wasn't just the white man. Because the other nations that had us in captivity as well, they're going in captivity as well. Right. Just with along with Esau. Uh read the rest. He that killeth with the sword shall be killed with the sword. That's right. right. So he that leadeth into captivity and he that killeth with the sword, it's gonna come back a hundred times a hundredfold. Alright? Read. Here is the patience of the faith of the saints. Here is the patience of the faith of the saints, brother. So when the saints is the Israelites, Psalms 15 and 5, were the only nation that made a covenant with uh, the Most High by right. sacrifice. That's right. right. We are the saints, so when we hear that, when we go through our trials, when we get persecuted, when our men get gunned down, that's patience. That's to feel good to us. All right. Now I'm not teaching uh, hate, yo, uh, hate other nations. I'm just teaching you who you are, so you know that you got a God. All right. <laughs> I can never remember the scripture. What was it Psalm 96? Five. 96. Yeah, 96 five. 96 five. Give me a Psalm 96 and five. All right. This is what you got to understand. Just like Joel 27 said. That he is our God, you gotta realize other nations, they have their deities too. They don't they they not about nothing. You feel what I'm saying? That's why the other nations hate us. Because why? We got the true and living God. They know that. But in this captivity, because most high God made us forget who we are, they're laughing at us. Alright? They make they make mockery of us on TV and all, all the media because they know our nationality, but we don't. You got people saying they Jewish, got our dumb people saying, oh, I wish I was a Jew because they got all the money. If you only knew, you are the chosen people of God, brother. Those that's are, that's those right. Imposters. All right, listen to this. Psalms chapter 96 and verse 5. Uh -huh. For all the gods of the nations are idols. For all the gods of the nations are what? Idols. You look kind of strange when you uh, heard that. What, you confused about that? Let's, let's, let's read it again. All right. Psalms chapter 96 and verse 5. Uh -huh. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Put it like this. I'm going to make it real simple. 
96 and 5 makes sense, right? The other nations outside of Israel, they have their own gods. All right? You have to understand that. The Most High God chose a certain people, and He is their God and their God only. And I know, I know you never heard this. And, I, and we're going, if you have any questions, ask, brother, and we'll and answer. Let's say the Lord. Listen to this. Uh, um, start at verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, right. and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt. So after the doings of Egypt, their, uh, their pagan worship, all of their uh, sacrificial and ceremon ceremonial things, don't do it. Free. Wherein ye dwell, uh -huh. shall ye not do. Shall ye not do. This is why he had to give us laws. When he chose us and delivered us from captivity, what did he give? He gave laws to do what? Make us different. Read on. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither? I bring you, shall ye not do them, neither shall you walk in their ordinance. Uh huh. Ye shall do my judgments and keep my ordinance. So we shall do God's law, statutes, and commandments, all right? That's what he wants. Now I, I want Exodus 11 and 7, all right? That's what the Most High God wants to do. So you understand that the other nations, um, they have their own gods, but they're idols. They don't mean anything. The Most High God, the only reason why he allows nations to get away with it is because we sin. All right, he uses them to punish us. That's so right. I think that the Africans, Africans are the ones who sold us to the white man over here. All right, you ever heard of the Sub-Saharan slave trade with the Arabs and Africans? They had us in bondage in the 1400s before we even got on this side of the world. That's the history that they got to teach you in the schools. They don't teach you about the uh, Native American slave revolts. They don't teach you about that in American history. Why would they? You know what I'm saying? They teach that Christopher Columbus came over here and had a feast called it Thanksgiving. But no, they're making a mockery of us all day. Eating that. You probably celebrated Thanksgiving, right? But you didn't know that the Native Americans was your brothers and sisters. That's You're right. celebrating the, the massacre of your own brothers. That's right. Do you realize that? You never looked at it like they had it. Think now, like now that now that you think, I'm glad that you, that's actually I can see by your facial expression is making some sense, right? Those are your actual brothers and sisters, right? But you don't know that. You don't know that the Puerto Ricans and the Mexicans, those are your brothers and sisters. You don't know that. Jeremiah 17 and uh, 4. Bring it out. Jeremiah 17. All praises to the most high that you came over here and listened, brother. Because why? One third of our people has to repent. Right. Until that one third repent, Christ, Christ ain't coming back yet. But he said it had to happen. We know that two thirds, the other wicked part of Israel just going to keep walking by. Right. Keep sinning. Keep going to church on Sunday. Keep eating pork. Keep breaking God's laws. But. We know some of our people got to wake up. Listen to this, brother. Right. Je Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh huh. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. What's a heritage? What? What's a heritage? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the Most High God just said he's going to make us discontinue from that heritage. So what do you think that means? Exactly, brother. Separate us from where we came from. So when now, when we see our actual brother, even though we know we're the same, we, we're hate. It's hateful. It's hateful when I see my brother. And when my sister sees each other, it's hateful when they see each other, right? We call uh, Southern, uh, Northern Kingdom, we call them spits, right? That's what they call wetbacks. No, those are our brothers and sisters, right? Only reason they look like that because they went off into idolatry and slept with other nations, all right? That's in Hosea, but that's, a, that's another topic. But uh, let's, let's listen to uh, 32 and 26. That's what I'm going to Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 26. Uh -huh. I said, I will scatter them into corners. The most I got was scatter the Israelites into corners for our sins. Read. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. That's what I want. Read that again. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Now, for the most part, do our people know that we're Israelites in America? We don't know that. Read that again. I said, I will scatter them into corners, 
I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. So now, in this day and age, we call ourselves African Americans. We call ourselves uh, Caribbean Americans, Jamaicans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Panamanians. That's what we call ourselves, right? But we're the children of the living God. Right. The reason why we know that, uh, what's that, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 46. Yeah, 28 and 46. And we'll show you how we know that. Cause you're probably like, all right, brother, this, this just makes sense. But how do you know that line up with you, right? Like, how do you know you're the actual people? I'm going to show you. What's that? 28, Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. Uh-huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. All right, brother. So you remember we read Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It said if we break God's laws, he would send curses. All right, so that's where we back at. And read 46 again. This is a, this is how we would know who we are by those curses. This is up. 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon us for a sign so a wonder. So these curses shall be upon our seed for a sign and for a wonder. Brother, so see that speed hump sign, right? What does that mean? Slow down because there's a what? There's a speed hump right there, right? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Now this is gonna this is gonna relate to you, right? So as you just saw a speed up sign, it's telling you that there's a speed hump right there, right? Common sense. A sign is warning me of something. So just like that warns you of a speed hump, these curses are gonna tell you who the Israelites are in the land. That's right. Alright? Listen to this curse. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop. So you, you're familiar with the Israelites being led out of Egypt, right? When they were in Egypt, what were they? Slaves. All praises. Read that again, brother. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So they just left out of Egypt, right? As what? They were slaves and they, they were free. So when the Most High God says, I'm going to lead you into Egypt again, what's he saying? Lead you back into slavery, but this time how? With ships. With ships. With ships. Cargo slave ships, brother. Read on. By the way, wherefore I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So we're not going to see our homeland anymore. Right? Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. To who? Unto your enemy. No, our friends. Your enemy. Our enemies, brother. Read. For bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you. No man can get you out of this situation. Why do you think no man can get us out of our situation? Take a wild guess. Who put us in? <laughs> to an extent, but who did it with his own hands? God. So how could a man reverse that? You understand that? Read the last part, bond men, bond women. Yeah. Uh, that, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women. Uh -huh. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. Brother, look on this sign right here. By the nationality of your father, which, which tribe would you come from? How you doing? All right, all right. You would be from the tribe of Judah. All praise. I invented sweat. Popping bottles, putting supermodels in the cab. Proof. I guess I got my swagger back. Truth. New watch alert. New blows. Or the big face rolly I got.
abuse. When you give them proof, it's poof. They disappear. The word holy means separate, so designate. You thinking too much, much thinking make you hesitate. If it be the Father's will, then it will resonate. But it's hard to reveal some revelations to a reprobate. It's a battle we all war in time to regulate. How you gonna? Shalom, this is, I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.